Hello, and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. Apophis, the asteroid that nearly killed all of us in 2013. It also moves at a velocity of 30 kilometers per second. What would happen if this actually collided with Earth back in 2013? Well, let's go ahead and find out. But first, let's show how close Apophis was to actually impacting Earth. Roughly 14 million kilometers away, so roughly this distance, which seems like it's quite far. In fact, this is 9% of an astronomical unit, which is the distance between Earth and the Sun. Now, in 2029, it's going to be in orbital resonance with Earth. It's actually going to orbit much closer, which could increase the chance of it actually impacting. However, we don't really know, but there's a lot of research going into it. But what would happen if it actually did impact with Earth? So well, let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and throw it at Earth. So let's get our orbital path here, and let's make it a straight impact with Earth right on its orbital path. So here we go at 30 kilometers per second. So here is the asteroid. Now let's go ahead and hit play. Now as you see it's traveling towards Earth actually rather quickly. Let's go ahead and slow down time. And let's see if we can get a good visualization of this impact. Looks like it's going to hit right in the Pacific Ocean. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And here it comes. As you can see, the city lights are still on, but that was a pretty interesting impact. That would have apparently been equivalent to 750 megatons of TNT, just on the initial impact. In the simulation, a bunch of asteroids came back down and actually ran across to Earth, but in reality, I don't think it would be that devastating. See, it would probably kill people within a 100 kilometer radius and have some severe effects on anywhere nearby because as you can see by the molten surfaces that would be emitting a lot of smoke which might even have some effects on our climate and cause the global temperature to even cool down a little bit and it would probably fill the skies with tons of smoke and cause a lot of problems for things like crops and all that as they would not be receiving as much sunlight but that would only be a temporary problem but that doesn't really downplay the impact of the asteroid, as it is still very devastating, but it won't be an extinction event. Now, let's see what would happen to the climate if something larger impacted Earth, something like 10 kilometers, like the asteroid that caused the extinction event with the dinosaurs that set our planet into an ice age. Okay, so let's see what happens if we actually reduce the temperature of the planet. So even dropping it by the smallest values actually increases the snow cover significantly. In fact, if you look, Greenland and Iceland are completely frozen over. In fact, we have a huge sheet of ice connecting all the continents together now. Not quite connecting Antarctica with South America. Let's go ahead and change the lighting to studio so I don't have to rotate the camera around. Let's go ahead and drop down the temperature a little bit more. Let's drop it down to about 9 degrees Celsius. That'd be a 5, te five degree temperature differential between what our planet used to be and what it is now. So if we add a temperature difference of 5 degrees across the global average, you'd basically be able to drive from Quebec to Europe just on ice sheets. 
which is a pretty crazy thing to think about. And maybe even during certain seasons, we might actually have a connection between Antarctica and South America, which is very interesting. Let's drop the temperature down to zero degrees. This is a global average. As you see, the polar caps are actually quite intense now. In fact, you could drive from basically Maine over to Europe now. Look at that, there's even a very notable portion of snow in Africa. So the planet is quite cold at zero degrees Celsius. Parts of Mexico are just covered in snow. Let's see Australia. Australia even has a lot of snow. Very interesting. Did we actually connect all the continents yet? Yes, all the continents are actually connected except for Australia. Very interesting. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about this new format of video, but until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.